Are you thinking about getting a clear retainer? Time for some PFOing so you know where you're going. Hey everybody, I'm here in Anna, Texas, and I'm going out to the clinic because I've got a friend here who had just finished her orthodontic journey. We have determined to get the clear retainer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carolyn. Hello. <laughs> She's done that three times because of me. It's my fault. Anyways, we're here in the clinic. We're gonna ask Carolyn a few questions after she gets the retainers. We're gonna show you a little bit about what Carolyn has done for her retainer options, and then specifically talk about the clear retainers. Everybody hopefully knows if you have already gone through braces or Invisalign that once you finish, you definitely, my recommendation, and most of the orthodontic profession will recommend lifelong retention. That means that you need a retainer that you're gonna keep in your mouth for many, 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 many years. Everybody needs retainers, all right? And sometimes you have to replace those those retainers sometimes you can make those retainers last for decades but the point is with retainers you absolutely need something if you want to try and prevent tooth movement and keep all those teeth as straight as they can be so like I said Carolyn has elected the clear retainers we're gonna show you what they look like we use a brand called the Vivera retainer Invisalign produces it we used to do some retainers that are made in the office in fact lots of orthodontists may do their own in-house clear retainers and they're slightly different plastic maybe slightly different thickness we're gonna show you what the Vivera one looks like and then talk to you a little bit about how to get the retainer in how you should wear it, maybe clean it. Here we go. So for those of you who are also getting the Vivera Invisalign retainer, it is a really sweet retainer, orange box. And then inside, got a white case. These are pretty slick, especially when you're wearing your retainers all the time. If you are wearing your retainers all the time, it's a nice case that can fit into your pocket really easily. Got some cleaning crystals in here. We'll talk about that. And then, of course, your retainers actually come in this bag. If you've done Invisalign, then you know this bag. And it's familiar and it just shows you, you know, what the different numbers are. But again, for retainers, there's really only one retainer. So we're gonna pull this out. Okay, so this is the clear retainer. It looks like an Invisalign tray that you could use to move your teeth. Well, orthodontists were using this type of plastic to hold your teeth, to retain your teeth a long time before they started really, really, really moving them with plastic. So this is the lower. You can tell because the teeth in the front are typically a little bit smaller and there's, there's small front teeth. On each tray, there is a number and a letter right in there. Anyways, there's some letter. There's a letter here. It's an L and then a number right next to it. And that'll help you know that this is the lower retainer. Then you have your upper retainer. You can kind of tell that that one's the upper retainer because it's got those big teeth in the front. News alert. <laughs> Breaking news. Okay, so these are the retainers. That's what they look like. Let's show you what it looks like when we put them in the mouth. When you're putting these retainers in, I think there's a few important things. Every orthodontist might recommend just slightly different. That's okay. Do what your provider is talking to you about. So when we when we deliver these retainers, all right, when you go to put them in the mouth, you gotta know which one you're putting in, otherwise it's not gonna fit, right? If you're trying to put the top and bottom, it's not gonna fit. We come in here, open really wide, and then you get them lined up generally where you want them to, and then you push them down. Push them down into place. Watch out for your cheeks and your lips in the back. You do your best you can, okay? And then the fit should be nice and snug. It shouldn't be so tight. Sometimes if you wait too long before you get the retainer in, then it's gonna be really tight and it's hard to get it all the way down. A good retainer should fit well, but be mostly passive in that you can pull it out with too much force, all right? Okay, so this is the way that we like ours to look when you get it in. Okay, hardly any space. And those of you who have done Invisalign know that that's kind of the way a good tray fits flat up against those teeth. Here's the bottom, ready? We're gonna put that in, same, same technique. Start in the front, find your teeth, the spots, watch out for your lips. Okay, and then you work it around. Pop that in. Sometimes when you're, if you're missing teeth or if you've got really uh, curved teeth, it makes the retainers harder to push in. But again, they should go in relatively easy and then be passive, not too hard to get in and out. All right, one tip. When you're putting your retainers in, be careful that you don't bite them down. You wanna use your fingers to push them in. I guess it's not a have to thing, but it helps preserve your retainers. If you put them in, let's say some people, they just throw the retainers in and then they bite them into place. What can happen then is if you don't have the retainer in the right spot and you bite down really hard, you can crunch, crack the retainer, on, or bend the plastic, and then you might be looking at a new retainer or a retainer that's just not as effective. So that's how you put them in. Now let's talk about how you get them out. I like to recommend that when you go in to get retainers out, that you go from places that have the least amount of grab. And for me, that place is more in the back of the mouth, on the top and the bottom. Let me show you. What we like to recommend is when you come from the very back, back here on the inside, back on the inside, you could do it either side, right? And you get your finger underneath that 
portion back there. Same thing down here, okay, underneath here, and same thing down here. Some people do it on the outside and that's okay. You can come from the outside. I like the inside, but you can figure out what's gonna work best for you. But those in the back tend to be areas where you can get the retainer loose a little bit easier and then you can work everything else out. So let's, let's look at that. So you come in here, you get your finger way back there, right? You get your finger way back there and you pop it down just like that. And then you come back and you start working it out all the way around. Okay, and if you happen to be out in public and you're, you know, you're wearing this all the time, you're getting a retainer out, before you pull it all the way out is that you close your lips and then you kind of suck all the spit off of the retainer as you pull it out. That way it doesn't, we're gonna show you the bottom one. Same thing, right? You find a spot where you feel like there's, okay, and you pull, get that to pop up a little bit and you start working around. Then you can grab around everywhere and start pulling it out. All right, just like that. Very good. That's for plastic. If you've got plastic in a spot where you're next to a missing tooth area, you make sure you don't bend the plastic too much because it'll break. So you just try to work it out gently across as you go across, try to be gentle. So those are some ideas about how to get your retainer in and out. When you're cleaning these retainers, in my opinion, one of the most important things that you can do is you take a toothbrush and you brush all the gunk out of it, all right? So before you go to bed, make sure the toothbrush is in there and you scratch it all out. Then you can rinse it out with water, right? Or you can put it in some denture cleaner material. Lots of people use different kinds of rinses, but that's the idea is that you, you let it soak in it for a little bit, kind of breaks down some of the products, the, the materials that are in there, the food, and then you take a toothbrush and you brush it all out. When it's not in your mouth, it should be in your case. Dogs, waitresses, they all like to take retainers that are out in the open and ruin them. So, I mean, waitress is not on purpose, but you know, they're cleaning things up. And if you've wrapped it up in a napkin, you're asking for trouble. Okay, so we've talked about how to clean them. We've talked about how to, how to put them in and take them out effectively. Now I'm gonna ask Carolyn something. How did it feel when we put it in? What does the clear one feel like when it's in your mouth? It's pretty tight and snug. It's, it's snug? comfortable, yeah. Okay, but it's not poking or it's not no, rubbing. It shouldn't be rubbing poking, or anything like that. It wasn't heavy, didn't okay. feel like it was in the way. How does it feel like when you bite down on it, is that what's, what's that like? Spongy. I mean, bouncy. Okay, a little bouncy. So it definitely doesn't feel like you have just you know you're biting into your normal teeth. No. So expect that to be different if you decide to do the clear retainer. Clear retainers can be very cosmetic, right? You like the way it looks. You can't tell you got anything in there. And uh, sometimes these clear retainers, you are wearing them all the time at first, and then eventually you're just wearing them at nighttime. Sometimes for those individuals who do glued or the permanent retainers, sometimes they get these clear retainers that go over the top of those retainers, those glue ones, and they only wear those clear ones at night. So you just need to visit with your provider to know exactly what your plan is with the retainers. But this can be a great retainer option, the clear ones. There's no set in stone rule about how often you need to replace it. You just need to be consistent with wearing it, taking care of it so that you can try to make it last as long as you can so you can always have straight teeth and a beautiful bite. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. That's all we've got. Just a little PFO in. So you know where we're going. That's right, pack it out.